another Monday Night Raw recap. Number six. And man, have we have a wild thing about Raw tonight. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, we have Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Bobby, wow, Bobby Lashley, Owens. Just a whole bunch of stuff inside yeah. the shield. So let's start off. Let's start off. So where? pretty much what started off Monday Night Raw was Triple H and Shawn Michaels. They were in the ring. They were talking about what Kane and Undertaker did to them at WWE Super Showdown, <clears throat> which was an amazing fight. Of course, like I knew, I I had a feeling it's gonna end up being the extra brother of destruction. Yep. So. Of course, it's going to be at Crown Jewel. It's going to be Brothers of Destruction vs. DX. So DX is back. Oh, yeah. DX! I wonder what they're going to do. I wonder if they're going to have like any stunts like they used to do. I mean, they showed like little promo things of them be doing what they did. I mean, who doesn't like the, the D-Generation X, man? <laughs> man well, probably tomorrow during SmackDown, we're going to end up having promos of the Brothers of Destruction. Yeah. Or... You know what we're going to see tomorrow on SmackDown. The Miz. Of course, because with the Daniel Bryan. Thing. Yep. Miz bitching so. about how he lost. Yep. And then, okay, so the first match of the night was Bobby Lashley with Leo Rush versus Kevin Owens. Man, Leo Rush could really talk shit Yeah, he, could, he kept freaking uh, just talking. He up wouldn't shut up. He would just talk through the whole match, like, trying to, like... Strike Owens up and Kevin's. stuff and wild him up and stuff. But yeah. But Bobby Lashley ends up winning. And mm. after the match, he actually attacked Owens and then walked away. So does this mm. mean Kevin Owens is a good guy now? Because only a bad guy would attack somebody after a match? I'm not sure. But Feels like I don't it. Know. Nobody um cheered for Leo Rush when he kept saying Lashley. I don't know. Everybody kept booing him. Maybe after being in the porter potty, maybe being dunked in all that blue dye or whatever, maybe he became a different man. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, no, he wasn't with Elias. Nope. So, you know. Um, then the second match is Ronda Rousey with the Bella Twins versus the Riot Squad. Pretty much was a rematch from WWE Super Showdown. Of course. That match was, um, okay, of course. That's a one-sided match. So, but, um... You put Ronda Rousey in any match, you already know Rousey is going to win and that shit. Like, like, I already knew that something was going to happen when they, like, um, when they didn't, like, tag, t tag her in when they did the, at the, the showdown. They didn't tag her in. So, in the match, after, like, everything was all done, they, uh, they, um, flipped on her. But it was huh? Nikki Bella that did it first. Yep. And then they attacked Ronda. Yeah. They did double dose and everything. So, yeah. So now, was it at... I kind of like that. Go Bell Twins or Ronda Rousey. But, well now, yeah. but now, it's the t uh, title match between Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella. Yeah, so it's going to be Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella. For the yeah. belt. At Crowd Jewel, right? No, or Evolution. Evolution. I'm st oops, my bad. Which, why does Nikki even deserve a title shot? You ju you didn't beat her Actually, in the match. Actually, yeah, that's kind of true. Like Nikki shouldn't be going against that title. You've been gone for so long. You had only one match. You only had one match, and that was that. It's the showdown. same thing, like Ronda getting it, like yeah. instant. Ronda's only there so. to sell tickets and Third the hype match. up. Third match. Third match. Finn. Oh, Team B and B versus Mahalisha. Yeah, of course. We all knew who won that match. Balor and Bailey. Yeah, yeah. of course. You know what I want to see? No if more ba magic carpet rides. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I want to see? For the, what is it? The Facebook, what, uh, whatever the thing is. Facebook watch? Yeah, the Facebook watch. If Balor and Bailey make it up to the end, I want Balor and Bailey dressed up as Demon Balor and Demon Bailey. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be interesting. That'd be my interesting. That would sell figures. Imagine imagine that. Yeah. I mean like Finn Finn and ba Bailey, like some people like Finn and Sasha. 
But sometimes Finn and ba Bailey is a good team. Then they usually team up in NXT. Yeah, they were, they did a little thing in NXT when they were in NXT. Too. When what was that? When Balor was injured, Bailey came out to Finn's entrance yeah. wearing his coat. Uh huh. But then again, Ashley, remember? Uh, remember? Almost what was it last year or whatever? Ginger Mahal was hyped up. He was the the unbeatable champion, and he had all the press and all that stuff. Look at him now. It's, that's what's funny about NXT. It's like you're all big up there in the upstars, and then you come to Raw and SmackDown. But Ginger never was in NXT, right? Um, he came back to wrestling. And I'm, was... not, I'm not talking about Ginger. I'm talking about like other people like Shinsuke, Finn, Bobby Roode, like all those people that were up there in NXT. And then they're up there, but they're not up up there. You know what I mean? And then they come into wrestling, sure, for what? What was it? A few months? They're the top shit, and then they're D list. They're automatically D list superstars. I was like, yeah. But yeah, and then then they had um global battle royal thingy. Their Corbin was with all these other pe random people. Yeah, they were. Of course, you ain't gonna remember those names, but because they were like people that was, he picked off the street. But there was this gold one with the gold mask. The he ended up going under the roof. I think his name is Conquistador or something. Yeah, Conquistador. Conquistador. He never got eliminated. He went over the second rope. So, he got back in the ring. And he... Balor chased after him. And then, um, for some reason, he actually eliminated Corbin. Corbin's all in front. Like, what? And then the big twist. And big twist. He took the mask off, which I knew who it was because I've seen the way he was standing. It was Kurt Angle. Well, it wasn't just because he was standing. He and was he also was doing. Shocked. No, he was also doing, um,. What was it? Push up? What, what was it? With the exercise thing that Kurt Angle always does. He did the, um, the wave thing. What is it? Uh, I can't remember. They always made us do it in gym. The jumping jacks. The ju jumping jacks. What the hell? It's been, well, it's been a long time since we've been. But yeah, the jumping jacks and the suplex. Yeah, the suplexes. Yeah, that that's also how we knew it was Kurt Angle. Yep. Then also, Kurt Angle was backstage getting an interview saying about being back and stuff and what's he going to do at Crown Jewel? Well, he did say he was still on He vacation. said he's still on vacation. So here's so. the thing, the Crown Jewel, we already have two Raw superstars. It's John Cena and Kurt Angle. I mean, like, why John Cena? Yeah, like, why? Why him? He just needs to go and stay with the movies. He hasn't been wrestling since Look well, at the Rock. since Saturday. The Rock's still doing the movies. Yeah. I'd rather stay. have The Rock than Cena. The Rock would actually make way more headline and be more views. Because yeah. look at John Cena on Saturday. He looked like JBL. And you know what? I would love to see him sing a song to Elias. Oh, oh my God. Like he that like Vicky? Vicky? Yeah. Oh, man. Like he did with Vicky. Imagine he was but like, then again... Who's going to be the two superstars from SmackDown? It has to be fair that two of them are picked tomorrow. Who would be able to face against... Dirt, 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 no, dirt, 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 Cena and Kurt Angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was that. And then you got the next match. Which is Ember Moon versus Nia Jax, which, wow. Wow, I mean... That was a big shocker. You'd think Nia Jax would win, yeah. but no, Amber Moon. Yeah. And not only that, we haven't seen Nia Jax in a while. We've seen no. Nia Jax. Nia Jax no. was partnered with You Amber are Moon. such a liar, Missy. We saw her, like, last week. We saw Nia Jax partner, last week. She was partnered with Amber Moon. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, going against Amber Moon, I mean... It's a... We didn't see her on Saturday. We didn't see Nia. Oh, well, yeah, she wasn't on there. That's what I mean. You haven't seen her on Anything that, or... And it's a shocker to see her going against Amber Moon. Oh, I mean... Usually she goes against Toothpick. Yeah. But she doesn't have course. a rivalry with Toothpick. But, yeah. Moon beater. But, yeah. And then they, then they have a look together. And we're back. Yeah. Um, and then, as what we were saying, we got, there was a thing, Trish Stratus, coming out. And she's talking about her and Bliss, about what she'll do with Bliss and stuff. And then Bliss and Mickey James came out. Yeah. And saying talks and talks and talks and she's saying why not do this tonight come in the ring and then and Mickey James is ta Mickey's trash talking Mickey's like oh no we're not doing this 
you're not doing this tonight, plus, no. And then Trish is like, oh, yeah, protect your bestie. Tell her, tell her how it is to fight me in the ring. And, um, Mickey's like, um. She's going to have a partner. She's saying, you know what, let's do a tag partner. Team up. And then mm -hmm. Trish is like, a partner. A partner, you say? Hmm, mm -hmm. who in mind's going to ding? Hmm, Lita. I wonder. And then Lita comes out. Um, of course we knew that because Alita was not going to end up facing Mickey well, you knew, anyway. You, you already knew because you saw the po the poster thing. It was Alita going to show up. But, yeah, like... Yeah. So. Next up. Uh, next match. Bobby Roode and Chad Gable versus The Ascension. And, oh my god, I'm getting sick and tired of this. Aren't there any other things? What happened to Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt? Where it happened like to them? I said, change up the matches. They really, they're not listening. Did they die or something? Uh, I don't know. What? We're back. Yeah, we're back. Just okay. technical difficulties with the app. So anyways, Rude and Gable versus the Ascension. And oh my god, I'm getting sick and tired of the uh, the freaking Ascension rivalry. Why yeah. is there no other tag team? But then again, let's see. Ba uh, Rude and Gable won. And... AOP just came out attacking everybody. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, because they can't change, they can't no, change it up. They're you not know, listening. But you know what? What? They can't go against anybody else? No, but you know what? Next week, I want to see Gable and Rude you, fight AOP. Yeah, it might be. Why Why don't you do a triple triple threat tag? Rude, something. Gable, Ascension versus yeah. AOP. Try something new. Do something about Bring it. Bring back uh, Fashion Police. Oh, Todd Bruce and Finn Dyke. Bring them back. We need them back. Yeah. We need the funny skits. And then, final main event. You got Braun, Dolphin, Drew versus The Shield as a rematch. Oh, wow. Tensions were high there. And, yeah, that match was, of course, intense, of course, because The Shield's in there, you know. They always make everything look good. But throughout almost the entire ring. Braun Strowman is getting all pissed he's off at mad me. Well, he's mad at Dolph because they lost last night. Yep. Yeah, he's and like, it was Dolph Ziggler's fault. He's like telling them to step up. Stop being, what is it, like kind of like pussies? <laughs> yep, he's like, come on, stand up. We're supposed to be winners here. Because they were like bickering a lot. So, yep, but they actually end up winning. Uh, Drew pinned Dean. Bum, bum, bum. What happened after that, bub? Then all of a sudden you see um, Dean looking sad. Dean looking y sad, and he's just walk. He's walking up the ramp, leaving, and then you see Dolph. Um, Dean and Roman just looking at each other like Seth and Roman looking at each other, looking at Dean like, oh. I'm sorry. But it was awesome to see how Dean and Seth did the double dive, and then oh yeah, double <laughs> dive, and then Roman did it. But then again, at the entrance, Seth jumped over the um the. The entrance, and then he did a somersault on the floor. Yeah, that, like that was said, weird. That match was like wild and crazy, and but where did yeah. their masks go? But that's the shield. No, but where, where where did yeah, their masks? They're awesome. No, but where did their masks go? I, I mean, so he might leave. So, but even if he does leave, but, I still like him. I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm always a Dean fan. Um, I hear he might turn on. He him. might turn on him as Spider Series. I thought that he's going to turn on them. Uh, he might turn on them early. No, he might he'll turn, turn on them and then he'll be... On. You don't know. He might turn on whenever. You know he's going to do it, but you don't know when. No, yeah. I want to see him turn at Saudi Arabia, at the the Saudi Arabia, and then for Survivor Series, have him fight both his S.H.I.E.L.D. brothers. You never know. That would be interesting. With the Kendo stick? No. Let That's him Kendo stick weapon. them. That's his favorite weapon. Well, let him what? kendo. Let him kendo stick Roman and Seth. I would like to see it shoved. <laughs> oh boy! Well, imagine him just shoving it up uh, Elias's butt. Oh, no, so have funny. it shoved. No, let him shove that stick up Seth Rollins' ass. Because remember, Seth was the one that hit he him with the chair. He <laughs> Be uh, Roman and Seth on a stick. Kish kebabs. <laughs> no, yeah. it'll be ro it'll be it'll be a Seth Rollins on a stick. Yeah, just on him. <laughs> But, yeah, so let us know what you thought of Monday Night Raw. Yeah. What did you like about it? Um, did you, did 
Did you like the shield? Do you like how Dean just like walked away or? Do you want to see Dolph Ziggler get Braun Strowman's hands? You know, he's probably Ziggy gonna. Ziggy, yeah. he's, he's gonna probably end up getting it. Do you like about the now it's a tag team match? Trish Stratus and Lita versus Bliss and Mickey James. Oh, those two are gonna get destroyed. Yeah, pretty much. There's really no funny. way that's gonna you know, be really a freaking thing. It's really funny seeing Lift Braun like after he like dumps those two jack wagons and teams up with Dean. Now that'd be a weird. Uh, oh, the lunatic and the monster? Might. He never know. Hey. But then he could actually team up with Kevin Owens. Oh, be God, the, no. Not oh, for party, no. Dean and Owens? Ooh, none of us are like No, Owens. I'm pretty sure Dean and Braun would throw him definitely in, like, double dose of but we, No, But we know what's going to happen next week. What about do, about this Nikki and Ron the Bella twins? Yeah. Oh, like, wait, wait a Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's see. Okay, I can see this. I uh, logically it should be Ronda should win because let's face it, all she's gotta do is punch Nikki just once in the nose, break her nose, ow, 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 ding, 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 over. Cause sure, Nikki has been leading the revolution, but honestly, do you think Nikki has as many body counts as Ronda Rousey did in MMA? Cause there's a there's shit ha because that's the only reason why they put her in the wrestling. She's supposed to be unstoppable, but I see it from this point of view. Nikki is going to win because the Bella Brand. Plus, mm -hmm. plus, you don't see Ronda Rousey as one of the main characters in the show. Just because or she's best friends with Natalia now, she just Bree might do something to help Nikki win. Yeah, or, you know, but then again, let's see. Ronda sisters. will have. But then again, Ronda would have Natalia in her corner. Right yeah. Now. No, no. What did? What about the Brother of Destruction versus DX? Was I for no. that? Yeah. Mm. What about the Kurt Angle thing? I really can't wait to see the DX come back. I really want to see. What yeah, she's. We all like DX. Of course. Well, I'm tired of the hypocrisy of WWE. I wonder what skits they're gonna do. I do want to see, oh, but you know something. You ready? But you want to know something? It should have been after or before Super Showdown. Because if uh, someone says it's going to be Undertaker versus uh, Triple H one last time, it should mean one last time. Because they said one last time last time. But then again, this is WWE. It's always hypocritical. Because yeah. they're always going to twist it around. So, I mean, with DX, with how Shawn Michaels, how he's always, he was crazy in that one video. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Shawn was always the funny one. Yeah, of course. Of course. With he Shane was McMahon. Dean before Dean ever existed. Like, Sh Shawn trying to be like Shane McMahon in that one skit. <laughs> or the uh, little people squirt. Oh, <laughs> That. No, they didn't I'm show that. Because, no, they didn't show that. <laughs> Shh, Missy, that doesn't exist. They didn't show it. It didn't <laughs> exist. But then again, they had the same skip, but it was Triple H saying that uh, Vince McMahon loves cocks. But we oh. know. But we all know that he likes Roman. Why well, do you think Roman's the champion? Uh, he likes well, that type of cock. He likes Samoan okay. cock. Because look, you got Roman, but you got The Rock also in the thing. So let's uh, let's so, hope. He's Let's hope to see what happens next week on Raw. Yeah, maybe so, they might have some skits. They might have some new stuff. But then again, we have to be looking forward for tomorrow for SmackDown. So, What's going to happen? Yeah, Maybe. we all know what's probably going to happen on SmackDown. Lizzy but Lizzy. Seen Miz. I'm your Miz. I am awesome. I'm still relevant. I see the win. Yeah, wee, and Samoa Joe, too. Yeah, Samoa Joe might come out, too. And then Charlotte and Bucky next week, too. But yeah. AJ Styles won fair and square, so Joe can't say that he did that. So. That he lost. So. so. And. But then, but then again, remember, we're going to see a Becky and Charlotte thing because Becky made Charlotte. Uh, 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 Charlotte won the disqualification, right? Yeah. But, no, wait, they're having a rematch, aren't they? On SmackDown? It's going to be typical. It's going to be a rematch. I think yeah. so. And we all know. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. And Becky better win. So, yeah, Becky better. Yeah. Especially to be champ. If Charlotte wins, we riot. Until next time. 
Stay sure tuned. Stay tuned for more Raw Recap. Like. Like. Subscribe. Comment. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.